What's up guys, this episode we're talking about how to use fixtures to create some sample test data in your test database for your Rails applications test suite. So this is basically a way for you to define some YAML records that will be inserted into your Rails database and then reset every test so that if you deleted a record in a test, it will actually make sure that it still exists for the next test that might need it. In Rails, test suites will run at a in a random order with the seed and so that will make sure that uh, those, if they deleted a record and then try to reference it in the next one, it will still pass because it will put that record back. Um, so your fixtures are a great way to create some sample test data for repeatable use across your application. So for example, if you're doing a bunch of stuff with an admin user, you can have that same record that you reference all the time and it'll be faster and you're not creating and generating new admins every single test. You're just referencing that same admin every single time. So to create a fixture, if you generate a model or a scaffold, it will automatically create a fixture file and test fixtures with the model's plural name .yaml. And inside of these files, you can define a key, which would be the name of your fixture and your columns in your database. Now you don't have to define ID, but you can if you want to force an ID number. Um, but you really just need to go through and set all of the model uh, attributes that you've defined.